and welcome to the channel. It's Steven here from Powell's Power Ups. This is the overview video for a lightsaber that I'm putting up for sale. Here we have Galen Merrick's The Force Unleashed 2 lightsaber from the Saber Armory. As you can tell, it's also been beautifully weathered, painted, and wrapped by Austin at Astoria Workshop. You can find all of the details about this lightsaber and what comes with the purchase in the description down below, as well as a price breakdown of the total cost. If you're interested in purchasing this, just reach out to me via email, Facebook Messenger, or Instagram messages. I'm going to stop talking now and just let the video roll and give you, the viewer, some time to look at the beauty of this hilt and really appreciate Austin's work. Okay, we'll begin to move on now and talk about some of the things that come with the lightsaber. You get your card here indicating that you have a lightsaber or prop that has been painted by Austin at Astoria Workshop. You'll get a little Ziploc baggie with your Allen wrench for the blade retention screw and a collector kyber crystal. Here's your lithium ion battery. Later, we'll go over that a bit more. And here is your USB cable that you'll use to connect to the soundboard in the lightsaber, and we'll go over this also later. Here's a printout of the operation instructions. As you saw me hit the button earlier, this has a single switch that is used for all operation and functions. This is a printout indicating or telling you how to do all of the functions. You also have a second printout that tells you all of the blade styles and colors that come on the lightsaber. The soundboard in this lightsaber is a Crystal Focus X which is actually my favorite soundboard, and I decided to put one in this lightsaber because it was originally intended for me. But I'm looking to buy a truck for this winter so that I'm able to go snowboarding and things like that. So I'm going to need some funds for that down payment. Let's open up the lightsaber and look at the inside. You can put your thumb against the clamp box and then unthread or untwist the handle off to reveal the chassis. The handle is just a hollow shell. It has no functional parts inside of it. You can just set that aside. And I think it's also important to note that the pummel does unthread and screw off, but there's no need to do it, so I don't recommend to. If you do, make sure you don't lose that ring that sits just above the pummel. Nothing fancy here with the chassis. It's fixed and not removable. It's held in place by some screws that sit underneath the brass clamp card. I decided to do some basic ring designs to give it a machined metal look. And I painted this with some gold leaf rub and buff and then clear coated it to keep everything sealed in and looking clean. It's made of ABS like resin material so it has some toughness and durability. Moving on to the soundboard, like I mentioned earlier it has a Crystal Focus X with some 0603 red LEDs mounted on top. The board is fixed in place and you can access the SD card with a pair of tweezers by unlocking it by pushing down with the tweezers and pulling the SD card up and out. Just make sure you push the SD card all the way down and lock it in place when finished. Or you can use the RICE program and the provided USB cable to hook up to the micro USB port that sits on top of the Crystal Focus X. Make sure you insert it and remove it as you see me doing here in the video, pulling straight out or pushing straight into the USB port and not pulling straight up or down in a motion that would rip off that port. People do that, and you need to be careful of this as you try. Here we have the battery compartment where you can fit the 18650 lithium-ion battery that's used to power the lightsaber. On the bottom of the chassis, you'll find mounted a 28mm black 3-watt 4-ohm speaker from the Saber Merchant. It's a lovely, high-quality speaker with some really rich and robust sound. 
Next, we'll go over proper insertion of the battery, but before we do that, I wanna talk about how to properly handle the lightsaber whenever you have the handle removed and the chassis exposed. You wanna hold it by the metal end of the lightsaber and not by the chassis itself. The chassis is a plastic material that is susceptible to cracking and breaking, especially around the rim of the chassis where it is inserted into the metal lightsaber. It can snap off there, so you wanna make sure you never put any pressure on it in that way. Put the flat side of the battery against the spring side of the battery compartment and push down on the positive end to fully insert the battery. You'll know that it's fully inserted and powered on whenever you hear a boot sound and you see the LEDs start to illuminate on the Crystal Focus X. So there's you a quick demonstration of what some of those onboard accent LEDs do during different functions. To put the handle back on, carefully slide it up and over the chassis and then thread it back on until it's tight. The blade plug is shine through from the pixels that are on the stock version 3 NPXL connector, which are wired to be independent so that they can have their own blade style. They just mirror the main blade's flicker whenever the blade is ignited and when the blade is retracted, they just slowly pulse. The blade retention screw can be found on the back side of the emitter here. Once you loosen it, you'll be able to remove your blade's plug and insert a pixel blade. Here's you a brief close-up of the stock version 3 NPXL connector and the shine through blade plug. Another unique feature to mention about this lightsaber is that it's been wired with 20 gauge positive and negative wire so that it can be used with the new KR Sabers V3 pixel sticks. So there you have it, that's the full overview video. Thank you for watching and if you have any further questions just leave them in the comment section down below. Reach out to me if you're interested in purchasing and may the force be with you.